Good morning, folks. You join me on a lovely spring morning. Listen to it. Silence. Let's just appreciate that for a minute. Oh, that's enough. Anyway, welcome everyone to another video. Now you join me at the unit. Lean on the van. That probably means it's going to be a van video today. First things first. Let's clear this shit all out. Okay, so the problem that I'm having is that there's a few in here that have uh, just rotten out and stripped over the time. So I might have to try and drill these out and then just try and pick some of the dirt out. See if it will. No. But you can see that it's proper ming in here. So I've got, I think it's just one. I've got one. Possibly two. I think that's it. Two to drill out. Have drill bits up here than these. Ah, that's what. Go away. Right. Now, hopefully, get this bottom out. Right there. That is everything. All the paneling out. It's quite got this quite nice on there, like carpety soundproofing stuff in the back on all panels. But you can see just how nasty everything is in here. Hence why I wanted to get rid of it all and give it a good sweep out. Unfortunately, I don't have a vacuum, but I should be able to clean this up pretty good. Um, I might take this bar out as well, this roll bar, it's probably here for safety, but I might get rid of it, because it's heinous. What do you think? Let's uh, sweep this out first, and then we'll go from there. Look at it, look, it's just fucking shit everywhere. Alright, let's do that. Ugh.
some like, I don't know, some like all purpose cleaner or something just to get rid of like the dust of the bits of the tree. Yeah. Oh bloody cobwebs. Let's do that. Oh shit. Right, just to stick, just to um, try and clean up these stubborn areas. Um, I've got a detailing brush. Got a clean microfiber, but that won't last very long. And I, I always use this. I swear by this, like boys. Honestly, this pink stuff multi-surface cleaner or multi-purpose cleaner. Did I say that? I don't know. This stuff works wonders. So I use this for all my interior trim, and it's cheap. I think it's like one pound, if that. But yeah, just spray it everywhere. Just get it nice and. Get it nice and moist. So we do an area at a time. And then what we do is we'll agitate it with a detailing brush. Probably won't. Now I'm trying to like sell you this. It's gonna bite itself, it'll probably work like shit now, but it should clean this up a fair bit. Uh, but yeah, what we want to do is just agitate all of this muck. It's cheaper than some of these branded, like, car stuff, car cleaning. Got to use auto finesse, fucking interior detail, and then eight pounds or something. Save yourself some money. We've got some Pink Stuff all-purpose cleaner. Sponsored by Pink Stuff, this channel, boy! Nah, not really. Right, and then, I'll just... Start wiping her down. Might use a bit much cleaner, a bit too much cleaner, but you can see where we're going here. Oh, it looks funky for and and a bonus is another bonus. It smells really nice too. So not only does it clean, it smells super fresh. Look at that, boys! Come on, you already can see the difference, boy. You already see the difference. Try not to slice my finger open again. That will be fantastic. So what I thought was dirt is actually rust spots, which is excellent. So you can already tell that's so much cleaner. Hopefully you can see what I've been doing down here. See, so, mm, so much cleaner. So I'm going to try and do the whole bed of this, and then we'll tackle the sides. Then we'll think about trying to get this bar off. Um, so yeah, let's fucking do this boys. boys and girls that is the back of the van looking nice and naughty lovely and clean and you get that lovely refreshing smell from the old pink purpose cleaner mic 
So that is the van all cleaned up. Is it perfect? No. Can you, is it a noticeable difference? Fuck yeah. So the van is looking and smelling nice and fresh. So I think we are going to tackle trying to get that bar out. Um, let's go see what we need to get that out. What's this one? Oh, hello. Fuck off. Stashed in. Sick. That's pretty cool to be fair. Right, I am back. Turns out you need a T40 uh, bit and some sort of power or hand tool device to get these out. We've got three. Oh yes. Oh, he's just been charged up, so she is hungry. If you've got friends, always bring a friend. Oh, oh look at that! Oh. Nice! Ow! Right, look at that out. So, let me just get a hat. No hair, no suntan on the old dome so talking time why are we stripping up the van yes there is an agenda um i'm sat at the home i'm there like oh okay i'll buy the van i use it for tip runs it's good for lobbing shit in well i've done all the tip runs and now i'm left with an empty van and i thought oh it's all right i want to go mountain biking again uh, the old dad bod's coming out and the, the weather's getting nice, the days are getting longer. So I keep saying to myself, oh, you know, it'd be cool to do a little camper van or something like an overnight stayer. My dad's currently building his transit van, which is coming along really nice. We're in the middle of, this is the first episode of the build. So yeah, we're going to turn this into a little overnight camper. Um, ah, wow, 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 stuff sharp in here. <laughs> I need to put the floor back, that's for sure. Um, so, plan is to have a bed here. So with that seat, I'm pretty sure I can get my whole self back here. Um, um, I have painted the rear doors, but um, I've done that off camera because it was just it was just an impulsive thing. Um, I was gonna tint them, but my dad was like, oh, I'll just paint them, so I just painted them. We're gonna put some nice floor down over the ply. Uh, maybe a carpet or a lino, I'm not sure yet. But yeah, so a basic bed frame here. I'm gonna have, obviously I bought the split charge relay stuff as well. I don't know if I told you that or not in the last van video. I'm not sure if I did or not, but um, I've got a split charge relay kit because I was planning on putting an, uh, a second battery in the back of the van anyway to run the lights for the shed. So I've got my inverter as well. So I might as well slap that all in here. So that's gonna be under that back portion, back portion of the bed. And then it leaves us with this bit, obviously with more storage. Um, and then, oh, let me move this side. I'm thinking of putting like a little cabinet here. So like a cooking surface or, you know, something where I can keep my shit. And then in the corner, there's gonna be a bit of a free space there. I'm gonna put a little mini fridge. Um, and then obviously we've got them, that storage underneath the um, seats, which we'll utilize. We've got that bit up there. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about the, the um, ceiling yet. I don't really, I'm nearly six foot. So I like to say I'm six foot. Um, but I don't want to lose much headspace because if you think about, if you're sat in here, you don't want to be too cramped if you get me. So this is quite comfortable actually. Try and make the bed somewhat low enough. But you know, it's plenty big enough. Hence why I said micro band. So, super echo. So yeah, if I can make like a little table or little desk here or something. Mini fridge in the corner. I've already got um, some LED lights in here. I might get some different ones to make it look smarter. I might get some of that super thin carpet and spray adhesive to stick it to the roof. That'd be sick. And then I've got some decent um, workshop lights, floodlights for the rear doors. I'm gonna put them, they're flush fitting so they're gonna fit in the doors. But let's finish this episode up. Let's get back the floor back in. 
and then I leave the sides off for now, um, just so I can think about what I want to do with them, um, and if there's any insulation or anything that we want to shove in. So let's put the floor back in, screw that back down. I need to get that stud out first, the snap stud, uh, the, snap, the snap screw that I had to drill the head off. I need to get that out. Then we put the van back together, and then we'll go from there, boys. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Right, I couldn't get that stud out, but I thought it's quite a good thing because I can use it as a uh, as a guide to get the floor in the same spot as before. There we go. Right, we're set. Um, I don't know if I should use new screws. I don't know if I've got anything better. Let's have a look. Don't we have got the floor back down? Um, I managed to use some nice, utilize some of my hardware that I already had in the uh, shed. So all of the screws are now replaced with nice ones, as you saw. Um, I'm leaving the sides as it is for now, because um, I think in the next video, uh, the next episode, I think we should be building the frame for the bed. That'd be sick. Um, so yeah, it's coming along already super good you can let me know what you think about the uh, about the van and if I should add anything or if you'd like to see anything added obviously we're making a bed um, and we're putting a split charge relay and electricals in it um, and some other bits and pieces yeah let me know down in the comments uh, so yeah thank you all so much for watching make sure you smash that subscribe button and get me to a thousand subscribers that'd be fucking sick Maybe if we get to a thousand subscribers, we can go for an epic adventure in the uh, in the silver shadow, <laughs> in the silver shadow van, bro. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that is going to be it for this video, guys. Stage one of the van build is complete. Recap: obviously, we only did one thing, and that was focus on the back. We cleared it, we stripped it, we cleaned it, put it back. So next video, we'll be making the bed frame. We'll go from there, and maybe trying to insulate the walls. I don't know, see when I get paid. <laughs> I've already got the wood for the bed frame, so it's probably gonna be that. After that, we'll insulate, try and insulate the walls a little bit. Um, and then we'll go from there. All right, so see you guys in the next one. Stay tuned for more van content, and I'll see you all in the next one. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I appreciate it. Let's get to a thousand subscribers this year. Still we rise, fuck hammer. And I'll see you all in the next van episode. Bye for now.